Hello and welcome to Hey Team TV. So today, finally, we are going to get the bunning on, get some dung, spreading dung. Ground is frozen up enough. At the moment, the frost is sort of gone to the grass. If I sort of point up here, grass, the frost has gone off the top, so might not cause grass too much problems. Well, will if it frosts tonight, but it is what it is. Going to get dung out, so I'm going to get in my fast track and get the dung spreader on oh well, after getting this trailer off but get dung spreader on and where we're going to start today is we're also going to clean out a shed in the yard where the calves could redo have been cleared out now so going to get that done Now before I move away, I'm going to get some cable ties and tidy up the pipes. So, kind of the worst thing about putting on a new machine is everything is loose and completely nowhere where I want it. So, I'm going to get some cable ties, tidy up the pipes, uh, get a bit of string so the pipes get held up away from the PTO and the bottling arms and they'll be sort of strung up to the top link out the way so nothing gets broken. So I don't need to grease up, do that again, but I've tied up my area. So uh, you told me I cable tied all the pipes and electric cable together. If you notice in that sort of clip that the cable I've only put two on, mostly so if there's any sort of turning, the electric cable can move a little bit. Pipes, they're all sort of done together. Then it's on top link. So now we've got this lovely arc going the other way, which doesn't everything look better with a bit of string? It looks more homely with a bit of string. What do you think? I think it does. So, bit of string on there, and that keeps the PTO shaft dead clear. Now, in a minute before I go, I'll drop my link arms down so they don't hit the PTO or um, the drawbar. So the, the, the top links are going to go below the drawbar. That way they can swing freely and we don't hit anything. But all in all, she's on and ready to go. Now I've got to do the upsetting bit of get it dirty, which is really upsetting with the dung spreader. It looks so nice. And then we put poo in it. Why? But anyway, got to get it done, so on with it. Okay, so I got Merlot uh, 21 6 because it's the only thing basically fits in our little sheds because of like, the height. Uh, and this shed, which is fairly, fairly deep at the moment, which is 
voila. Had a bit of clean bedding put on yesterday, but it's gonna go out, so it's going out now. You lot will never guess what. So the footage that you just saw was the big boss man hauling the camera. Now he's gonna hate me saying that. He really gonna hate me saying that. But just think, he's that much closer. That much closer. Anyway, jokes aside, you know, with your help, get us to some like I don't know, hundred thousand subscribers. And we'll really push the buttons and get a big boss man on. Just as we said in the uh, uh, video we did on live Q&A. Anyway, finally, first loads up on this spreader. This spreader is supposed to be the same, all the same amount of dung as the compact. Now, I at least put two extra ground floors what we would usually put in the compact. So with the Merlot, we'd usually be talking about 16 ground floors. This time it's 18 ground floors, so someone's telling me some porky somewhere, this one is all and warm. Anyway, uh, beside that, we're also able to put greedy boards in this one eventually if we want to as well, which will really help to be honest. So, um, yeah, that being that. Anyway, now I'm gonna just open a gate and let us into a field 
And once in, we have to set this up now because I don't know what sort of floor speed's gonna be on it and I've got to regulate it to what we want to spread. Okay, so the heavy frost is ever so slightly gone. So here is sort of the print I'm leaving at the moment. Uh, there is a bit of a ramp coming into this field. So it tends to chew up a little bit there, but should be only about four loads in this field. Sometimes we'll go over twice, depending on what it looks like. Uh, like, see this little area here where the grass is gonna have such, so yellow. I'll probably slow down that point to sort of add because that, bit's, that bit of the ground's looking hungry. So a lot of what we do is by eye. Now, I'll bring you around here. So here's our dial and someone has left it right in the middle. So I am gonna slow it down, bring it up to about three. Because we prefer to get like a really good chop as everything comes out. Uh, obviously we don't use a straw blower. So the dung that's going out here, I changed it down my cousins because he um, he chops everything. But here we don't chop and cut off in the silage and waste product from the shed goes down and that's not always been through. So we try to make sure we get a nice chop so it's got best chance of breaking down and going away. So that first load is done. Now, where I put the setting wasn't fast enough, so I moved that halfway, So, but it's still not quite fast enough. So I am gonna adjust it a bit more to about six. So speed on that now should be right. Anything else I can tweak from the tractor on the computer. Now here's the shed that I'll finish cleaning now in a minute. As you can say, this shed is a little bit technical. So there's a step there, which runs all the way down the end. There's also the gutter line with the scraping passage. So basically, a little bit of history on the farm, this was our old shipping, which is old school name of a milking parlor. Um, and basically all the milk lines went along the top. All those black dashes there would be the cow names, numbers, and how many scoops of cake they would have. There used to be a trough line at the back wall, which me and one of the old lads that used to work here ripped out. But as you can see, with that step, which is, I know it doesn't look much from your angle there, but like if I come here, it is just over half a foot high. So basically you have to climb over the top of these things with the telehandler to try and get it all out. Usually in this shed, we end up leaving a bit um, it's not ideal, but got to leave a bit for ne next time, don't you? Anyone else do that? Anyone else leave a bit for till next time? But I have the hassle of sorting that out now. But for today, I'm going to have to log off because I have not got enough hands to do everything. But you'll see more dung spread in the next video. But thank you for watching if you haven't yet done so please could you hit that subscribe if we are earning it give us a thumbs up as well also if you want to find any more of us you can find us on instagram snapchat facebook and twitter and you can get merch on ebay just look at hey Team tv there is a link down below but anyway thank you guys for watching as usual see you in the next one cheers